All right, I'm back here with part two of my March update. This is my second attempt at doing this video because I'm using these really crappy batteries that only last about two minutes before they die. So, yeah, my battery died on me and I had to replace it with new ones. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. These are just regular DVDs this time. Uh, first up is a TV series, and it is South Park, the complete seventh season. This is one of those seasons of, the, of this show that's been really hard for me to find. Uh, this season and season 8 have both been really hard to find. And I think that's because a lot of people consider those seasons to be the best ones out of all of them. And uh, this season, to be honest, for me was just okay. I mean, I didn't, I didn't think it was terrible, but I didn't think it was that funny either. I mean, there were a few episodes in here that I laughed at, but you know, for the most part, some of the episodes were just okay. So, um, there's this one. This one definitely has the best packaging, I think, out of all of them. And you got some really nice artwork. And there's a Casa Bonita. That was probably my favorite episode out of the whole season. I really enjoyed that episode. And then, got some more artwork. And then, more artwork right there. But yeah, there's disc one. Two, and then disc three, and then the episode listings right there. So yeah, there's um, South Park season seven. I really, really love South Park. Um, in my opinion, one of the best shows on television. My favorite all-time episode has to be the Lord of the Rings episode back in season six, which in my opinion has to be the best season out of all of them. But, uh, yeah, it's the one where they were they were pretending to be in the Lord of the Rings. And, you know, I'm not going to go into details about it because, I mean, it's kind of inappropriate and I don't want anybody to get offended. So, yeah, that, that, one's, that one definitely has to be my favorite episode. And uh, I'm going to try to get the rest of the seasons, but it seems like every time I do buy a season of this show, they always release another, like right after. So, it's kind of hard for me to keep up with this show. But, yeah, there's South Park Season 7. Next up is Air Force One with Harrison Ford. This is a good film. I heard somebody talking about it. I had never heard of it, so I figured I'd check it out. It was a blind buy. I think it was $5 or something. But, uh, yeah, this was a very good film. I was definitely pleasantly surprised by this. Uh, it's about the President of the United States, and he's flying on Air Force One. And these terrorists hijack the plane, and they hold everybody hostage. And they want one of their prisoners to be released. And they say that uh, if they don't release their prisoner, then every half hour that goes by, they're going to kill a hostage. And it was a very good film. I would recommend you watch this one. The special effects are pretty bad, but you know, for an old movie, it was a pretty good film. I really liked it. Next up is Zombieland. To be honest with you, I never really wanted to see this movie. It just it just it just didn't look like my kind of movie. But uh I kept on hearing pretty good things about it, so I went ahead and I rented the movie. And I really did like it. I was surprised by this one as well. Um It's about these people. The the earth has been overrun by zombies. And it's about these survivors that are trying to, you know, survive in the world that's overrun by zombies. And it's a funny movie. I really I really enjoyed it. You should check this one out. Sorry, I'm just I'm just losing my voice cuz I've been talking for like I don't know how long now. Uh, next up is 8 Men Out. This was a blind buy off eBay. This movie is about the it's about the Chicago White Sox scandal. You know the scandal back in 1919 when the Chicago White Sox were in the World Series, and what they did was they purposely lost the World Series in order to get some money that they that they thought they deserved because they were being very underpaid by their coach, and they weren't making the money that they thought they should be making, and these people offered them a deal where if they would purposely lose the World Series, they would give them a bunch of money that they thought they deserved, and so that's what they did. And then a bunch of people found out, and they were kicked out of baseball. That's what the movie's about. 
And uh, to be honest, I didn't think it was that great. I mean, it wasn't bad, but you know, some people I've heard call this the best baseball movie ever made, which, to be honest, I think it's pretty far from that. Uh, I mean, I didn't think it was the worst movie I ever saw, but you know, I just didn't think it was that good. I mean, it wasn't exactly what I was expecting it to be, but I mean, if you're a fan of the White Sox and you're a fan of, and you're uh, really into this whole scandal thing, then I would recommend you check it out. Next up is another sports film, and it is Glory Road. I got this for a dollar off of eBay, and uh, I had never heard of it before. I saw it while browsing through somebody's items on eBay. And, you know, I really like these kinds of movies, so I figured for a dollar I might as well check it out. And uh, it was a very good movie. It's about a coach that's trying to get rid of racism, and he brings in these... Uh, African-American teenagers that are going down a bad road, but they're very good players, and he brings them in, and he tries to get them to win the state championship, and also to uh, open people's eyes to show them that people shouldn't judge other people, and that they should get to know them first. That was pretty much the message of this movie, but it was a very good film. I really enjoyed it. I would recommend you check this one out. Then there's the disc. And once again, my battery's dying right after I just put in new ones. So I'm going to go through these next two kind of fast. Next up is True Lies with Arnold in it. And I have not seen this yet. Got it for $5. Figured I might as well get it. But yeah, I haven't seen this one yet. So if you can give me your thoughts on this, I'd really appreciate that. There's the disc. And then last is a double feature. It has Mouse Hunt and Polly on it. I don't care about Polly. I just wanted to get Mouse Hunt. Uh, I actually got this as a gift from somebody. Uh, my mom found it someplace. I don't know where. And she went ahead and got it for me. 